Hey guys and welcome back to Makeup by AIM. So today I'm going to be testing the new palette, what I've got from Morphe, which is the 24A Artist Pass palette, which I'm really, really excited for. As you'll probably notice, I'm in a new surrounding and it's at my parents' house in Lincoln. I'm actually something. really, really loving it here because it's in the middle of nowhere and it's kind of surrounded by fields, so really really peaceful so yeah let's just get into the video now so i'm really excited to try out the palette first of all though i'm gonna put some priming spray onto my face and i'm gonna use the i love revolution tasty peach priming water and it smells so nice so i'm just gonna put that into my face and let it absorb into my skin so the primer is now absorbed into my skin and it hasn't got a tacky feeling to it it's just really really kind of smooth on my skin and my skin feels a lot more refreshed actually so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put some concealer on my eyelids ready for when i do my brows So I'm now going to go ahead and kind of do my brows. The products I'm going to use today is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert Pencil and I think the shade of it is 102 Cool Blonde. So that's the shade I go for and I find it really nice and creamy and it stays in place all day so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do that. My So as you can see my brows are now done so I went off camera and did my brows just because I wanted to focus on the actual eyeshadow palette I'm testing. So the next thing I'm going to do is just grab a setting powder and just set my concealer on my eyelids. itself has the palette name at the top with a hashtag and i can see myself here <laughs> um a mirror a big mirror which is absolutely brilliant because i love palettes with mirrors and then this is the actual palette so it has really really gorgeous sort of shades so it has your shimmers some of the mattes and then some shimmers again but my favorite by the looks of it is this one it looks absolutely gorgeous with the stars so what's that shade name spotlight stealer it looks absolutely beautiful and again it's got some shimmers at the top it's really really pretty so i can't wait to try this out i will put in a picture of all the shades swatched for this video so all i can say about that is you can't really tell that much in camera but in person that is kind of like a neon shade and it is so so pigmented honestly i am in love kind of gone into natural daylight now because the lighting just wasn't working for me and i forgot my ring light at home which is not great to be honest so i might have to purchase another one for the purpose of my videos but as you can see it's a lot brighter in natural daylight and you know in normal lighting and it's really really pigmented so really in love with this shade so i'm just going to go ahead and obviously blend the color out so as you can see i've now blended it out and it's blended out really nicely the only thing i did notice when blending out on this eye was a bit did go kind of the color shade did fade but i added a tad bit more and it blended out beautifully so that wasn't an issue 
but the next thing I'm going to do is kind of brighten up the look again and I'm just going to go in with this kind of hot pink shade called Max Volume here. Um, it's really, really beautiful and let me just swatch it. So as you can see, the pigmentation is really, really there. So I'm going to put that in on my crease and kind of bring a bit of colour into the So as you can see, again, I'm just going to zoom in. That colour is really, really pigmented. So let's see how it blends out. So as you can see, the colours have really complemented each other and blended in really beautifully with each other on each eye. So really, really happy with that. So the next thing I want to do is I just want to add a bit more colour. I just thought I'd layer a few colours because I just love to be able to experiment with kind of quite a few colours out of, well, shades out of the palette. So I'm going to go in with this major inspo and the, it's kind of this purple shade here so i'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys on my hand so you can see so again it's kind of that really really kind of pigmentation is there it's slightly slightly chalky but purple is quite a hard shade to get right as a lot of the time purple goes patchy so i really wanted to try it out in this palette so I'm just going to go along the crease again and kind of layer it up from the shades I've already put. So it's applied fine so let's see how it blends out with it being a purple shade see if the patchiness is there or it's got a flawless kind of blend to it so as you can see the purple actually blended out really really nice I'm just going to zoom in so it's blended out really nice and there's no patchiness there so that's good Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease with my concealer, which is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which I use in C3. So as you can see, I've cut the crease on both eyes and I'm just going to go ahead and just wait a couple of minutes for them to kind of dry so I can then set the concealer ready for when I put my shimmer on them to dry. I just want to have a quick story time. So basically when I was back in Manchester, me and my boyfriend was going past the kind of local park you can walk through. But there's like loads of teenagers just booze drinking there must have been about 20 of them so is it just us or is lockdown just you know not does it not exist anymore god knows drop in the comments if you've seen anything weird during lockdown so now the concealer has dried kind of a bit so it's not tacky anymore and it's not wet i'm gonna go in with this is my revolution setting powder and i'm just gonna go over my eyelids where i've put that concealer just to set kind of the concealer in place So now I'm going to go in with this kind of shimmer glitter, I think it's actually called, 
I'm not sure if it says, but I think it's actually called a graphic glitter when you've got kind of an item in it, so it's got little stars in. So this is the spotlight steam that I'm going to use, which again, I'll show you, but I have shown you it several times in the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dip my finger into it. So yeah, you just automatically get stars and that's how it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go in with a brush to start with. But if that doesn't work, I'm just going to use... So let's try going in with this brush I've got. So as you can see. So it seems to be working on my brush. Feel like a star's gonna go in my eye though. Are they gonna stay on? Not sure. I'm in for this. So overall, I used the brush and I also used my finger, and I think a brush works better. I'm just worried that, as you can see, they're just coming off. These stars are just gonna come off, and where they kind of only apply on certain areas of your eyes so for me i'm quite a symmetrical freak so i don't know if i could wear this eyeshadow all the time i think for a really creative look like a kind of artisserie look i'd like to do i think they'll be really good and i think if i was going to a festival or something like that it'd be really really pretty but i think for an actual eyeshadow look don't think i could keep so as you can see i've kind of tried to put the kind of spotlight shade with the stars in on the outer corner and the pink shade glittery in the inner corner and overall i think it looks a bit messy i think if you was going to kind of the stars are coming off quite I think yeah overall this isn't for me and i can feel the stars kind of sharp going into my eyes which is never great maybe i've applied it wrong but yeah this just isn't for me so what i'm gonna do is remove the shimmer off my lids and maybe use one of the other shimmers out of the palette I think the star sort of thing is for me i just think they feel so sharp and they actually feel like they're going in my eyes so what and the, as you can see they're just coming off by the dozen so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wipe this off and use one of the other shimmers out of the palette you can see i've now took off the glitter and it's still kind of on my eyes i tried to take it off kind of as best as i could um, the next thing I'm going to do is add another kind of shimmer onto my lid to try out the other shimmers in the palette. So I've decided which shimmer I'm going to go in with. So I don't have to cut my crease and irritate my eyes anymore. I'm going to go in with this mic drop, this purple shimmer. And I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. So this is more of like a deep sort of purple glitter and it looks really beautiful so i'm gonna put that along my lids so i just quickly thought i'd put an eye line on before i go in with that shimmer so that's what i've done you can see i've now put that shimmer on it's absolutely stunning that shade and it hasn't irritated my eyes at all and it's so easy to apply so it's more of a foil glitter which i really really love so the next thing I'm going to do is apply some false eyelashes and then I'll be back. My eyelashes are now on as you could probably tell because they are quite fluffy and big. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply my foundation which today I'm going to be using the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation which is my new favourite foundation.
um, as you can obviously see that I've got my foundation now on so the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my concealer in the areas I'd like to highlight on my face. So I've now set all my concealer in the areas which are highlighted on my face. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in with some bronzer and just put it into the areas I like some warmth into my face. So just want to say, apologise for the camera angle for one there and I apologise for all the faces I made while I was putting it on. So the next thing I'm going to do which is my one true love and that's highlight my face. So I'm going to use the Sculpt and Glow palette, I'm going to use this shade obviously, this is the highlight shade and it is so pretty. See, this is the natural sort of glowy look which I wanted to go for. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in with the lipstick. So today I'm going to go in with a Sugar Pill Cosmetics lipstick in shade Trifle. And it's a liquid lip. So I'm just going to swatch it for you. So that's the sort of shade it is. So that's a swatch of the shade and it actually smells like sweets.